Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today, as you can tell by the title, I am going to be doing a thrift store, op shop, Kmart, chemist warehouse haul. Um, I don't know what I've called it. I hope I didn't call it that because that would suck as a title. But we're going to get the stuff that I got from Kmart and chemist warehouse out of the way first because surprisingly, I actually got quite a bit at Sabres, which is the um, op shop I went to. So yeah, this is like their first time in quite a while that I've actually gone there and found stuff that I actually like and that fits me because it's always a hit or miss. Um, so first we'll get the Kmart stuff out of the way. So let's do that. So the first thing I got um, is actually for my travels in a month's time. Um, it's this Beauty Care Co Beauty Organizer with removable brush pouch. So um, because I'm probably not going to be taking like that much makeup with me. I thought this would be a perfect thing to take to Bali with me. So, if I can get this off. Um, it's just this black bag with, well, black like pouch thing with like, it's pretty like sturdy, you know what I mean? Um, <laughs> I don't know how to describe this. It has like two zips, well like one zip with two like zipper things and it like zips all the way around. Then you just open it and it looks like this inside so it has this plastic case hopefully you can see that with like a zip and you can put stuff in here and then this is the removable brush pouch so this will be really good because i'm not going to take that many brushes so it gives you room for quite a bit and then on the other side it comes with like another pouch and then more pouches and i think this is just really great because it's all in one thing you won't lose things yada 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 um whenever i put anything black up to the screen it always like overexposes me so this was eight dollars the next things i bought from kmart were just two packets of these makeup remover pads in large i have the smaller ones which are really good for like eyes but these ones just get like your whole face or else I'll end up using like the whole packet of the smaller ones for my face. So yeah, um, just got two of these. They were $1.50 each. They come with 60 in each of them. So these are always something that I pick up. The second last thing I got was these two bras you might have seen in my last Kmart haul. I got um, the black and the grey one and I've used them to death. Um, still going to use them obviously but it's really good to have white and nude and last time um, they didn't have these in stock so I went and bought them this time and they're just yeah white and nude and they're called the wire free seam free padded crop. These are so comfortable let me tell you um, and they're $15 for a two pack so the final thing I bought from Kmart was this black cap. It's actually a guy's one, I'm pretty sure, but you know, 2018, you can wear guy's stuff. Um, so this is just a plain baseball cap in black, and this was $3. I mean, I am not a hat person, as you can probably tell, but <laughs> this, look this looks ridiculous. Like, I have to reshape it and stuff like that. Um, but just for Bali, I thought just while I'm laying in the sun, this would be good to just have on my head. <laughs> okay, from Chemist Warehouse, I'm a mess. Like, my hair's freshly washed, so it's just not sitting how I'd normally like it to sit. And it's kind of annoying. Okay, from Chemist Warehouse, I got, like, nothing. <laughs> but it's still worth showing, I think. So I actually got two packs of my favourite lashes ever. These are the Beauty Lashes by... No. These are the Beauty Lashes in Brittany. These are $8 each, I believe. Um, and I got two packs of these, just one pack on my eye. Um, and yeah, I love these. These are really good. And then I actually thought that they were doing like a promotion for these. The, I've never seen these before, but they are the Choc Love Bites by Sophie Monk. And I got two different flavors. Um, this one is Protein Milk Chocolate with Salted Caramel Crisp. And this is the dark chocolate one with mint crisps. <laughs> um, but these were, I think, $3 each, I think. Um, and yeah, I'm just excited to try these, so yeah. Okay, now we're on to the more exciting part of the haul. Let me just pack up the stuff that I chucked on the floor. Okay, so for the, um, like, what's it called? <laughs> for like the op shop portion of this haul, 
the clothed stuff. I think I might try them on. If I don't, I'm sorry. But um, hopefully I can be bothered because I'm quite lazy. But uh, I'll do that after I finish filming what I got and just add it in if that makes sense. So I went to Savers. Don't normally get too much stuff from Savers anymore. Um, like I normally just go in and look for like jumpers and just plain stuff. Um, I don't really ever go in looking for something specifically because chances are you're not going to find it. Um, but yeah, finally picked up some stuff. Hope it's all good. Um, yeah, so let's just get into it. The first thing I picked up was this uh, black hoodie kind of thing. And it has like mesh inserts here. Like fishnet, if you can see that. Hi. It's like a workout top and it's from Kmart actually. It's from Active & Co. Um, and it's a size 12. And yeah, you'll be able to see more in the try-on portion. But it has mesh down the bottom here as well, if you can see that. And this was... This was $5.49. So... Yeah, happy with that. I always, I live in these types of things. So these are just staples for me to have. Okay, this is this jumper, jump, jumper. <laughs> this is this jumper on. So this has a hood at the back and then it has these mesh inserts on the arms. The next thing I got was something a bit out of my comfort zone, as you can probably tell with the color, but it's like this really, really nice, like almost teal. It reminds me so much of like the 90s, like Nike. When they were doing all those like, uh, what are they called? Little bomber jackets. They're like, uh, I wore them in school as well. I don't know what the material is. It's not like raincoat, but it's kind of like in between. Um, anyway, <laughs> the color just reminded me like of like kind of a throwback moment. So I just got this and it's like in an extra large, which is like fine because it's winter and I just want to be cozy and wear this with like trackies or leggings. I'm not trying to a fashion-y star. Um, this was $5.49 as well and doesn't have a tag on it so I don't know where it's originally from but I am excited to wear this after mum's washed it so yeah. <laughs> okay so this is that big blue jumper on. This one goes a bit lower than the other jumpers that I've showed um, but I like it. It's like very relaxed. <sighs> this is like a very grandma jumper though. But um, yeah, this is just something to be really cozy in. It's really warm inside and it's a bit creased, but that's okay. Um, but yeah, I just really like the color. I feel like it's so like old school. I'm the lamest person ever. The last jumper that I got was a really good find because this is what I primarily go in there looking for, like old school or even like a new school, um, like Adidas, Nike, Puma, like all those sporting brands because they had some really cool jumpers back in the day that people are slowly getting rid of, but they are <sighs> jacking up the price, you know what I mean? Like I went to a market a few months ago and this store was selling off all these really cool Adidas and like old school Nike stuff and they were selling it for like 70 bucks. I was like, look, <laughs> you reckon you can sell me it for like 10? <laughs> bottom and like cuff them because that's how they look best. The leg by itself is quite ugly um, in my opinion. 
my god, hello. Yeah, in my opinion, they're like just not very flattering on me. Um, but I'm excited to kind of like style these with black jumper, like a black crop, crop jumper or like a jean jacket. I think it would look really, really nice. Um, and like boots or converse or something like that. I just hope I can style these. If not, they were only like $7.50. So it's not that big of a, much of a big deal. That is that. That's what they look like. And then they're just pants. <laughs> okay, so next up, <laughs> I bought a pair of shoes. So as I mentioned before, I am going to Bali. Um, and I found this pair of shoes. I think they're really cute. They're like espadrille kind of. Um, and they have like the woven material and stuff. And they're super duper comfy. And I was so happy that they were my size. They're originally from Ruby. Um, and that's just what they look like. And they do up like around your ankle with like a little buckle and yeah i can just dress these up or dress them down and you know bob's your uncle okay the next couple of things um i'm uh to do with like my room so i am redoing my room i'm so happy i'm getting a new bed um moving stuff out of my room and somewhere else because my room is quite small and it does get a bit cluttered um and i have so much stuff in my room. theme is going to be like white pink and like wood so with that in mind um i got this little wooden basket with like silver accents um i'm not sure how the silver's gonna go <laughs> if i'm honest i just realized that but um this is something that i think i'm gonna put like my charges in um, just so they don't get all tangled on the floor because um, mum gets mad at me and they just get really messy on the floor. I step on them. So if they're in a basket, I'm less likely to step on them. I might still because I'm just me and that's what I do. Um, but this was $4 and yeah, you can pick up stuff like this at any op shop probably because everyone's always getting rid of these little storage things so yeah and then i also picked up this wooden basket it has like darker handles i thought this would just be good to like put some books in because i have like a lot of recipe books and just a lot of unnecessary stuff in these four square box things that i could be putting other stuff in there and making it actually look pretty um i feel like i'm going to be using this for my bedside table as well like next to my bed so we'll see um if you guys want to see like a before and after of my room like and like along the way little adventure i don't know like transformation it's probably not going to be part of me it's probably not going to be anything like spectacular but i just really really want to make my room like my sanctuary and somewhere where i actually feel really happy in because the stuff that i have now it's like kind of everywhere and i don't feel like it's me you know what i mean I probably sound like a lunatic. Anyway, <laughs> so I just got this to put stuff in because I have a lot of stuff. I'm a hoarder, so yeah. Um, and this was $3. So. The last thing that I got was just this like lipstick little holder. I have so many lipsticks and I've tried to fit them all in in this little thing that I have here, but it's just getting too full. So this is just a good thing to keep them in because you can still see what's what because of the clear plastic. So this was $2 and they sell these at Kmart and reject and the reject shop actually, but I was just happy to find something like this at Savers. So yeah. Okay guys, so that brings us to the end of this video. If you did like it, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe down below and be sure to comment anything you like, any video requests, because I would love to hear them because I need some help <laughs> of what to film because i can't keep spending my money doing hauls for you so yeah love island will be coming soon for anyone that is interested um yeah i just need to get around to filming it to be honest i've been really caught up in stuff lately just trying to get myself ready for things and yeah um anyway thanks for watching love you lots goodbye Mwah.